if you listen to Alex Jones, he'll tell <laughs> you that the mainstream media is lying to you, that they're only showing you the pictures of the stranded polar bear on the iceberg, not telling you that polar bears can swim. You know, that the mainstream media is fake news. It's all a conspiracy. So basically, the thing with climate change is, is fundamental physics. And as anybody who's ever watched Star Trek and listened to Scotty knows, you cannot change the laws of physics. And the fundamental laws of physics are carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. That is to say, it helps trap heat in our lower atmosphere that would otherwise escape into space. We know that this is a fact and that it exists. And it, the fact that the greenhouse gas exists, the greenhouse effect exists, and that carbon dioxide is an element of that is a very good thing. Without the greenhouse effect, none of us would be here. This science was established way back in the 18th century and beyond. We're looking at guys like John Tyndall, Joseph Fourier, and after that, a guy called Svante Arrhenius, who actually examined the atmosphere, figured out why we were still, why our planet kept some of the heat and why solar radiation didn't just disappear off. And uh, in the case of Arrhenius, he actually calculated that, well, if we increase carbon dioxide, then therefore we're going to increase the greenhouse effect. So this is actually basic physics. And we also, we know for a fact that carbon dioxide is increasing in the atmosphere. Uh, that is measured um, on a laboratory on Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Uh, we know definitively that temperatures are rising somewhat in, uh, as one would expect it to be as a result of that carbon dioxide increasing. Um, and we are seeing impact that would be uh, uh, consistent with a warming world. So if we know what the physics are, if we know that the conditions uh, exist to uh, accentuate the impact of those physics. If we know that we are seeing results uh, that are consistent with what we would expect from those physical changes, it has to be a real stretch to say, well, what about any of this is wrong? Those who say, well, it's all a conspiracy, first of all, it makes absolutely no sense. You are basically saying that pretty much every single researcher on Earth is engaged in some kind of conspiracy. Every scientific journal on Earth is engaged in the conspiracy. Again, leaving aside the laws of physics, let's pretend that the laws of physics don't even exist. You're saying that all these scientists who are in the field, in Greenland, in, in the Arctic, in the Antarctic, around the world, are somehow engaged in a conspiracy that are pretending to see things that do not exist, or we are pretending that measurements exist that do not exist, that we are pretending that weather patterns exist that do not exist, that we are pretending that temperature changes are happening that do not exist. And all of this is some kind of global conspiracy because why exactly? All that is brought up is some kind of nefarious world government slash taxation thing, which makes no sense at all.